Hey everyone, are you thinking about buying or selling a home? Are you thinking that uh, maybe the Portland metro market area is somewhere where you would like to be? Or are you curious about what the market is doing in that area? My name is Julie, I'm with eXp Realty and I'm here to help. Today I'm going to go over the market stats for the Portland metro market area. I do three on the east side, three on the west side. I compare numbers to the previous week and we can check out and see what the movement in the market is doing. So let's get to it. Over in the Lake Oswego and West Lynn area, the actives are at 155, which is up by four from the previous week. The news are at 48, which is down by nine, pending 41, down by 10, and solds 33, down by one. That's a little bit of a downward trend for the Lake Oswego and West Lynn area. In the Oregon City, Cambia, and Malala area, we have the Actas at 166, which is down by eight. The News are 35, which is down by 29. That means there are 29 less listings live this week than the previous. Pendings are at 46, which is down by one, and the Solds are at 51, which is up by four. In the Gladstone, Milwaukee, Happy Valley area, we have the Actives at 262, which is down by three. The News are at 84, up by nine. Pendings 88, up by 11. Sold 78, up by 17. They had a little bit of an uptick there, but very slight. Over on the west side, the Beaverton and Aloha, we have Actives at 133, which is up by five. The News are at 70, down by six. Pending 73, down by eight. Sold 65, which is down by three. Hillsborough and Forest Grove, you have actives at 159, which is down by 12. The news are at 57, which is down by 11. The pendings are up, 78 is the number, and they're up by 19. Sold 68, up by 11. So that was a little bit of a mixed bag there and over in uh, Hillsboro and Forest Grove. But uh, lastly, Tualatin and Sherwood, we have the actives at 177, which is up by 11. The news are the same, 66. The pendings are at 65, which is down by 13. And the solds are 56, which is up by four. So I am actively out in the market every day. I am talking to buyers and sellers. I've had a couple listings go live this week and I have a couple buyers that I've been shopping and writing offers on. I can tell you that one offer that, uh, that I wrote for my buyer th the other day, they had seven offers total and it went for 70,000 over. And uh, I also know that there's some homes that aren't having much many showings. I had an agent call me this morning. She's got a listing and she was asking what I thought the market was with my experience right now and if I felt there was a change coming on because they've had their home listed for a week and has only had a couple showings. So I know that as a real estate agent in this hot market, you usually list on a Wednesday, Thursday, and by the weekend, you are sifting through multiple offers for your client. And if that doesn't happen, you stop and think, what's going on? What's the market doing? What can I do to change this? Or what's wrong? But sometimes days on market take a little longer. I think some buyers, I have a lot of buyers and several of them have that buyer fatigue. They're like, mm, I think we're gonna hold it out. I don't know that the market is necessarily going to shift to a buyer's market, but I do think that it is going to slow down a little bit to where sellers uh, need to be realistic with what they're asking and maybe buyers will stop giving the moon and waving things that I personally don't think should be waved in a real estate transaction, such as inspections and things like that. Anyways, if you're thinking about buying or selling, I am licensed in Oregon, Washington, and Arizona, and I would be happy to help. And I'm always accepting referrals. I, I do work my business on a referral basis. If you know of anyone, please reach out. I am always appreciative of referrals as that is how I do my business. Anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day.